reputed market leader. It's always exciting to see what Nvidia is up to and they kick off 2025 with a bang with the announcement of the GeForce RTX 50 series. After months of speculation and leaks, Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang confirmed the 50 series GPUs are based on the Blackwell architecture and taking quite a few people by surprise, announced both desktop PC and laptop GPUs. Nvidia's core claim is that 50 series offers double the performance of 40 series, principally driven by a new type of AI-powered rendering, DLSS 4. Under the hood, a full Blackwell GPU comprises up to a staggering 92 billion transistors, a massive increase over the 76 billion transistors of the Ada Lovelace-powered RTX 4090. There is a whole host of architectural improvements too, focused around shader execution reordering and boosting the speed and efficiency of the tensor cores when processing FP4 models. Blackwell's RT cores have doubled the ray triangle intersection rate of ADA and improved compression. Combined with the new RTX neural shaders and RTX neural faces, this should lead to better looking games and reduced memory requirements. The connection between the graphics card and CPU has also been given a boost, from PCIe 4 up to PCIe 5, doubling the bandwidth of this crucial boss. And good news for VR gamers, the outputs have been upgraded too, now supporting DisplayPort 2.1b, UHBR 20 and HDMI 2.1b. These new hardware capabilities are used to power the AI-powered multi-frame generation technology which NVIDIA has branded DLSS 4. This improves on DLSS 3 by generating three neural rendered frames for each traditionally rendered frame, the end result being double the frame rate. NVIDIA claims that more than 75 games will support DLSS 4 when 50 series launches later this month. 50 series GPUs also support a new improved Reflex 2 featuring frame warp technology cutting latency in competitive esports games by up to 75%. We will go into more detail in a later video on that, but in essence, Frame Warp updates the rendered frame based on later mouse movements, driving down latency as low as one millisecond. The launch lineup comprises of four desktop GPUs, the 5090, 5080, 5070 Ti and 5070. The 5090 and 5080 will go on sale on January the 30th, with cards priced at £1,939 and £979, respectively. The 25070 variants will launch in February, and they'll be priced at £729 and £539, respectively. Notably, though, the 5090 has a lot more CUDA, Tensor and RT cores and memory than the 4090, whilst the other cards have similar specs to their 40 series equivalents. Pricing-wise, the 5090 is considerably more than the 4090, but the others are closer to their 40 series namesakes. Even more impressively, despite the huge increase in capabilities, the 5090 is a lot smaller than the 4090, with the Founders Edition card being just two slots instead of three. The new cooling configuration should also make it much more suitable for small form factor PCs, with it now featuring a PCB in the middle of the chassis and a fan each side able to push all of the air through the card rather than the previous generation's single fan going through just the rear of the card and the other pushing air out of the back through the PCIe slot in the case. Nvidia also announced four 50 series laptop GPUs using the same naming scheme. These will go on sale from March onwards and they'll share the same capabilities and features as the desktop GPUs but of course with reduced specs to fit the more restricted power and physical limitations of laptops. So there you have it, the key specs and capabilities of NVIDIA's new 50 series GPUs, including the exciting new neural render DLSS4 multi-frame generation. To recap, the desktop 5090 and 5080 will be available from the 30th of January, and the 5070 Ti and 5070 in February with laptops from March. We will of course be releasing more videos diving deeper into this and actually trying out some of these new features for ourselves, such as DLSS 4 and Reflex 2 in the coming weeks. In the meantime though, why not let us know in the comments which 50 series GPU you're most interested in and why, and then head on over to the SCAN website using the link in the description below to view the available cards and 3XS systems.